Well, it's a big week for the Taylor Cheer Squad as they get ready for their very first ever competition as a varsity team. And to look ahead of that big day, I'm joined by their head coach, Hannah Kirby. Hannah, what is the anticipation like uh, with the team getting ready for that very first competition as a varsity program? We are so excited, to say the least. There's a lot riding on this first competition, but this team is completely ready. How have practices looked the last couple of weeks, knowing that each day and each practice you guys are getting closer and closer to competition day, uh, competition number one? Yeah, so practices have been pretty grueling as we're heading up for this first competition. The team just threw their first full out a couple practices ago, so that means we're throwing the routine, everything is going, and the team has just done an amazing job with this. So although practices have been really tough, they've risen to the occasion and they've hit and they're ready for Friday. Have you seen the team's confidence grow the more times that they go full out uh, with the competition routine? Yeah, so the first time that I told them that we were gonna go full out, I could kind of see in their faces a little nerve, a little bit of nervousness, some nerves there. Um, but once they actually finished and once I asked them, Hey, how did that feel? They told me that it felt good. They felt confident and they were excited. Well, the big day's coming up in just a few days, Hannah, tell us what it's going to look like, uh, from when you guys get to the venue to when you guys actually get to compete. Right. So upon arrival, we will change into our uniforms, then I'll head up to a coach's meeting. Then after that, we'll get some team stretching time. We'll get some time to warm up our skills, and then we'll be ready to throw our routine. And then when everyone gets through that, that whole warm-up period, what does it look like um, when the competition actually begins? Is the order predetermined? Kind of what, what are all the behind-the-scenes stuff with that? Yeah, so we do have a predetermined order. And while other teams are warming up, some teams are actually competing. Uh, so it just kind of goes in a roundabout way like that. And then how long is your routine allowed to be? What's the maximum amount of time? So the routine has to be two minutes and 30 seconds long. On the nose. On the nose. And then what does the scoring breakdown look like just for when people are seeing the results uh, after, that, after that competition on Friday? Yeah, so NAIA, they score their routines a little bit differently than other cheer organizations. So they score based off of difficulty level and off of execution level. So uh, depending on your skills, that's what puts you in certain difficulty ranges. And then how well you execute those skills, that lets you know what score you'll get. There's obviously a lot of anticipation and I'm sure some nerves as well, both for you and, uh, and for your athletes coming up before Friday. What are some of the goals you want them to check off the list when, when Friday rolls around and when, and when you guys get through that, that very exciting two minutes and 30 seconds? Yeah, so there's a lot of excitement. And as I said, there's a lot riding on this competition. But my goal for the team is for them to, after they finish the routine, I want them to feel proud of what they put on the mat. Hannah, congratulations on getting to this point. Best of luck with the final preparations and good luck when Friday rolls around. Thank you so much. That is Hannah Kirby, the Taylor Cheer head coach, joining me today to stay up to date with everything Taylor Cheer. Just log on to taylortrojans.com.